Alright, quick little one for you guys today. I've had a few questions related to like more teaching stuff, more lessons, more tips and tricks related to actually playing the guitar. So in this one, I want to talk about warm-ups. Say you've got a gig, uh, and how do you warm up for a gig, and how do I warm up for a gig? And basically, I rarely warm up for a gig, which sounds really bad. I often just kind of go in cold and use the first two songs of a set, especially if it's a longer night, especially if it's a cover gig. Like, I just don't bother warming up for that kind of thing because I know the first three or four songs of the night, you're trying to get the vibe going. The sound guy's probably still getting everything right, the rest of the band settling in. Uh, but uh, tonight, my original band, Ragdoll, is opening for Living Colour, and that's pretty cool. But these gigs are always like, rush on the stage, set up your stuff as quickly as possible, play your set, get out of the way because it's all about the headline act. Basically, you know, you're there to warm the crowd up. So if you're trying to warm the crowd up, how do you warm yourself up in that kind of situation? There's always a lot of sitting around. And what I like to do is, you know, you'll see people who might practice, you know, they go over their scales, they might play the major scale in a bunch of different positions. <laughs> all that kind of thing, or they might do, you know, finger exercises. That kind of thing. But I remember reading this article in, I don't know, a guitar magazine ages ago, and it was with Steve Morse, and he talked about using rhythm guitar as a warm-up, which I think is a really, really great idea. And anytime I do warm up for a gig, like something like this tonight, I'll just get my guitar, uh, you know, not plug it into anything like that. I'll probably just play it acoustically. I'll probably have my headphones in so I can't really even hear a lot of it. I can just kind of hear the attack and the jangle. Um, or, you know, you might want to take another guitar along with you. You know, my advice would be take a guitar that's actually a little bit hard to play. Take an acoustic guitar, you know, like a cheap little nylon or something like that. And you can just fiddle around on it and play some cool rhythm guitar stuff. So uh, here's three sort of rhythm things that I would do uh, if I was doing this. One of my, one of the first songs I ever learned to play was uh, a song by Status Quo. So talking about sort of like rock rhythm stuff, those guys are really, really good off the Pile Driver album. I think it's the first track on there. It's called Big Fat Mama or something like that. Um, but essentially, it's, it's kind of like if you're familiar with the Dave Mustaine, like spider chord kind of thing. You play an open A5. So the open A string in the second fret of the D. And then you're gonna reach up with your middle finger and your pinky finger and you're gonna play a C5. So the third on the A and the fifth on the D. And you're just basically gonna double it up. Then you can modify the rhythm to go. And that's the song. So essentially, I mean, in this case, this is just a song that I'm really comfortable with that I've been playing for like a long time. So pick an equivalent kind of thing. You know, it can be an old 50s rock and roll tune if you like. You know, you're sitting there going. <laughs> Something like that. Something really, really simple where you don't have to think, where you can just play and start to sort of basically get into that flow space that you want to be into. You know, there's that like idea in neuroscience where uh, they talk about people who are either at the most creative when they sort of enter this flow mode. And uh, I think for me, I love playing guitar live because I seem to get into that flow mode at some point. So uh, where just stuff happens, you know, you don't, you're not consciously thinking about it. You're like dimming that idea of like the self uh, and you just sort of you know, being a part of the experience. So for me, this rhythm and starting off and just really, you know, working on just getting it sounding steady. <laughs> Playing all downs and you can slowly speed it up, add some muting, add some sort of inflections and dynamics. <laughs> playing it all downstrokes. And I like this because I can sort of feel my left hand start to warm up at a similar rate that my right hand's like warming up and getting comfortable. So that's one thing that I do kind of all the time. Um, another thing would just be pick an ACDC song because there's so many good ACDC songs. Uh, one of my favorites is Sin City. The main riff is just Just 
because their stuff's like so percussive and so fun to play, so much attitude. Uh, so that's another one that I play. And again, this is for like a rock gig scenario where I know I'm going to be playing a lot of downstrokes. I know I'm probably going to be playing in like a drop tuning and chugging on the low <laughs> strings a lot. This, uh, yeah, again, this just kind of gets me in that groove and you want your audience to be doing that especially for you know if they've never heard you before and you're playing your own music if you can get people moving they're really gonna they're really gonna react well to what you do so that's one that i like and then with uh with my crummy tuning by ear so i do something in drop d as well you know just sit there and uh a riff i really like is dog man by king's x that's not it that's a ragdoll song that i'm writing um uh And that thing going from the really like big kind of funk thing to the intricate little thing there, I, I find that's really handy for me for warming up because you know there's a lot of sections of songs where you might be playing big chords. play like a single note thing and transitioning from this kind of strumming to really accurate little picking uh, is something that I find you know if I'm not warmed up that I will make a lot of mistakes with and yeah, like I said that's just they're just three things for me like a drop D thing an ACDC thing and uh, that status quo riff sub in your favorite classic rock riff basically the the guide should be you know you, you want to make yourself feel good more than anything else a large part of this is psychological so play songs that you really like Songs that make you smile, songs that make you bop your head, songs that make you want to move. And uh, that's, I think, a way better warm-up than... And you can play guitar for like 10 minutes like this and just have a bunch of fun. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's, it takes the stress out of that whole, I need to warm up. Uh, you know, if you were playing in like a metal band or something, you might want to just sit there and practice going from like eighths all down, sixteenths. Just that to get your right hand going or something I find is really effective. So yeah, that's the uh, a really brief overview for me of like the benefits of using rhythm guitar to warm up. And especially if you play a guitar with like a, you've got just, like I said, an old beater or something, uh, and you can take it to the gig with you and not worry about it getting damaged or anything. Uh, nylons are really good for this because they've got a very different attack to an electric guitar. Then when you pick up your guitar and plug it into your rig and you've got, you know, you've got volume and you've got vibe and you've got gain, your guitar is going to feel so wonderful to play and you're just sort of going to be flying for the first couple of songs and uh, it will really get you into the gig and it will sort of get you into that flow headspace that you want to be in and uh yeah plus you know someone's always going to be like oh dude i love that acdc song or something so it's a good way to build rapport backstage as well uh, anyway that's a that's a little tip i hope it helps you guys why don't you let me know in the comments what you use for a warm-up are you somebody who loves to practice scales and do a lot of warming up or you're someone like me who's like fundamentally lazy and you just want to play some rock riffs or are uh, you one of those people that doesn't even warm up at all and you just go out and you can just rip in which case ah, you bastards see you around